The following events occurred today in a retail store for a wireless carrier understaffed due to medical leave, call-offs, and to to do at the bottom the shift began like any Thursday fairly slow in the early afternoon with customers trickling in but not super busy with no one waiting. After finishing lunch I walked back out onto the floor and was shocked at how many customers were in the store waiting. At this point, there's four of us reps and one manager all with customers and four sets of customers waiting to be helped. I asked the customers waiting who was next and a couple getting a new phone were next. Their transaction involved trading in their old phone, transferring their data from old to new phone, and during the transaction decide to add a smartwatch. From start to finish this transaction took probably 1 hour 45 minutes but once I reached the point where phone's almost done transferring they tell me to take the next person. At this point, there's just me and one other rep since, everyone else's shift ended and they left and I know the other rep with me tends to be slow. If I don't multitask finishing up with first customer while assisting a new customer people will be waiting longer and we all be later getting out of there. While assisting the first couple, more customers had come into the store waiting so I asked who was next and it was another couple getting two new phones and trading in their old ones. I take note of who had been waiting the longest being this couple sitting in the corner and begin helping second set of customers. They are doing the same new phone, trade an old phone, transferring data as the first customer but with two phones. I get to the point the phone begins updating software takes 20 minutes usually, and both phones say 25 minutes and customer decides to go eat while transfer completes. I set their phones in a back room to finish transferring and return to, check progress of first couple still transferring so I decide to take the next customer. I turn in the direction of the customers waiting and ask who was next remembering it was the couple sitting in the corner so I look at them. The husband gets up walking in my direction raising his hand saying he was next but suddenly I'm next I hear from a female voice. It was a woman who had came in about a half hour before and the next customer had been waiting close to an hour at this point. I look at her and say no, I believe they were next thinking that would be the end of it but I was wrong. 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 Fucking wrong. I all call the husband H and the woman B for bipolar. No. I was next. I've been here waiting all this time. You've walked past me 50 times and haven't looked at me, says B I interject, no ma'am. I've been waiting almost, an hour. It's my tea but I interrupts him slightly raising her voice. I begins ranting no, it's my turn. I need a tablet for work. I've been sitting here waiting and you meaning me haven't even acknowledged me. That's your job. It's not my responsibility to watch the door, it's yours also meaning me. Dot. Here I am in the middle of two grown adults arguing over who was next knowing who was really next in line but I had this look in her eyes and her tone of voice made me think there was something wrong or she was possibly unhinged. The store was packed with customers all watching this unfold and I wouldn't listen when I tried to reason with her. I gets justifiably frustrated muttering something about a whore and switching companies before leaving. I was within a razor's edge from making I leave and reluctantly begin helping her. She says she wants a tablet for work but I don't want to help her and so pissed off at her it was hard, to hold my composure. I was briskly short with her in conversation and wanted her to leave as fast as possible not caring to come across as rude. She argues with me about why I didn't say anything to her before and it just went through me so I brought out the dad voice. I told her like I was talking to my child, listen, we are super busy today as you can see and I am helping three customers at one time. There's only two of us today and I don't have time to deal with this. The only tablet left in the store is an iPad. There are no promotions on it and it's going to add $30 to your bill. Do you want it or not? She says she all take it and I process the transaction as fast as possible which takes several minutes. She uses that time to tell me God bless you and that she's not mad at me but that it is my responsibility to watch the door. Not only is that not my responsibility I fucking knew who was next I don't say anything back to her other than an obviously sarcastic thanks. When she finally leaves, Everyone else in the store begin talking about how she acted and how well I handled the situation. My other co-worker that he was going to have to get involved while I and I were arguing and his customers were getting ready to take I out into the parking lot and trust me, they really would have. The first set of customers I had were still transferring and one of them actually knew I from high school and guess what, she is bipolar slash schizophrenic. What happened here? Well, for one thing, only two reps working for four hours during the evening rush. There was only two because one person on medical leave, two people on two, and one person leaving our store to close another store who had someone call off. Even being understaffed we aren't normally busy, on a Thursday evening but tonight was an unusually busy evening for some reason and none of the customers coming in were there to do something quick. Even with all of these factors and long wait times, people still should be patient and act like adults since at least there were two people who came in to work. It was nice how every other customer in the store, even those waiting, kept telling me they had my back and if there are any complaints about me from tonight I could call them. To do bipolar slash schizo woman insists on skipping line telling me how to do my job god blessing me arguing with another customer with no idea another customer almost asked her to step outside.